I'm looking for some input today, so please leave your input in the comment section. Someone approached me last night and said, when are you going to do another practice and enjoy? I love that. I want to do it. A lot of people want to do it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you've been watching me for a long time, or maybe you've watched some of my older videos, you may have seen something called Practice and Enjoy. It was a last-minute event that Jonathan Alaskans, the DJ Tutor, and I put on in Milwaukee in January of 2008. We literally put together in like three weeks. This was how it all kind of went down. Jonathan decided to come and visit me, which was really cool. We hadn't met. We'd been doing videos for about a year. Not quite a year, I don't think, at the time when, when he decided to come over. And I thought, wow, if he's coming, we should probably do like a meet and greet with everybody, people we haven't met yet. We'll bring in some people from Chicago, Milwaukee, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll do a thing. Pioneer had just released the 400 series, the CDJ and the DJM 400s. We thought, hey, what a cool opportunity to have some people get their hands on these, these new CD players. They're pretty cool. People want to see them. So let's have like a DJ party. Let's have like a cool nightclub situation where everybody can come and have a go on these things, do a mix. And then ADJ said, hey, why don't you guys bring in some of the new LED lights if you're going to have a party? So they got involved and we ended up bringing a bunch of kit. We brought Technic 1200s. We brought Serato. We brought, you know, tons of stuff. Brian Lipsky, two turntables and a guy, he brought his video mixing setup. And at the time they were the DVDJs, if you remember those. And that's how you mix video. It wasn't done on computer yet. So, yeah, this was a really cool event. We had, I don't know, somewhere between maybe, I don't know, 70 and 100 people show up over the um, two days. One day we had kind of a workshop thing where we were helping each other out with mixing techniques and, and such and more technical stuff. And, and the other day, it was just kind of a fun, let's have a party kind of thing. We did it at a hot water warehouse nightclub. And it was a real good time. And, uh, you know, keep in mind that when we did this, we had not done any DJ trade shows. I hadn't been to any. Jonathan hadn't been to any. So we really didn't have anything to gauge our little gathering on. But what I can tell you is that I decided I didn't want to do it anymore after, you know, the first event. It was a lot of work for one. And I was attending these shows, and I thought, well, you know, what I don't want to do is, you know, let a DJ spend their money to travel to Milwaukee in January, you know, when they can be spending their money traveling to a place like Mobile Beat in February or going to DJ Expo, you know, it just seems like that might be a more worthwhile thing for people to put their money on. Uh, now, DJ Big Ron said, well, hey, I want to continue doing it. Let's do it. And I said, well, no, I don't really want to do it. You go ahead and do it. And he turned it into YouTube DJ's Live. And I, I reserved the, the name of Practice and Enjoy simply because that year we were having a meet at Mobile Beat called Practice and Enjoy, and it was kind of a DJing around the world, almost a seminar thing, not anything close to the original concept. But, you know, after going to all of these DJ trade shows over the last five years, and I go to a lot of them, as you know, I don't even know how many I've attended, all over the world, what I can tell you is nothing has ever matched that energy level of that first Practice and Enjoy. Now, was it perfect? No, but it was cool, it was fun, and I think that maybe it's time to recreate it because there's nothing else out there like it. This is not a product-driven DJ meet. This is not a seminar-driven DJ meet. This is not a mobile DJ-driven seminar meet. This is not a club DJ-driven seminar meet. It, it, it's none of that stuff. It's just networking. It's turning people on to new music. It's having fun. It's doing a dream set in a nightclub. It's checking out you know, some new product that you know, maybe happens to be there. It's very secondary to the whole vibe, you know? And we're not having lectures and things like that, or we didn't the first time. You know, maybe that would be good to do a little bit of that. I don't think a whole day of it is a good idea. I don't have the attention span for it. I don't expect anybody else to. The community is a lot stronger, even locally, Milwaukee and Chicago, so we could probably get a, a pretty good amount of people to attend this. You know, I'm thinking, wow, if we did first time out three weeks, not a lot of effort. If we did, you know, somewhere close to 100 people, we did a good job. And this is no disrespect to, to what Big Ron is doing or any of the people who are doing the live events around the country or around the world. And I've been to them and I like them, but they're seminar product driven. And, and that's not what I want. I want something different. They're almost like mini trade shows. And those are cool, but there are big trade shows I can go to as well. I want something completely different. And if you do too, let me know. And let me know if this is something you'd be interested in attending or participating in. This would be totally free to everybody. We never charged anybody for any of this. We didn't pay out any out-of-pocket money either. 
we I was able to get uh, the halls and and the the venues for free. I mean, all I told them was, hey, look, here's an opportunity for you to sell some food and some beverage, and and I'm going to bring a crowd in on like a Sunday night or a Monday night where you don't have a crowd at all. This is like free money for you, and they were very excited about that. So just let me know if this sounds like something you'd be interested in attending or participating in and what your ideas might be for it. Let's do something that no one else is doing. No trade shows doing, no live events doing, no conclaves doing, something completely fresh and different. Write down here in the comment section, let me know what your ideas are. And if you want to come, practice and enjoy.